Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here. Once again, we're back on Forza Horizon 5, and today we're going over what makes the 4GT OPI edition so special, and how you get it. We're going to go over how you get it first. Uh, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is, step one, be in North America. Step two, go to an Ulta beauty store. Step three, buy $20 of Xbox branded nail polish from OPI. And then... On your printed out receipt, it should have Xbox in-game item. And then you take a picture of that receipt. And as long as it has that Xbox in-game item on the receipt, then you will get a code to enter into the Microsoft Redeem page. And you will have this car automatically added to your garage. It won't be going to your message center, so you can't accidentally delete it. It goes directly to your garage. And it's here. And comparing a stock... OPI edition for GT to the 2017 one. You can see it's got a bit more horsepower and weighs 200 pounds less. And as well, I have tried to look on the auction house, but as far as I can tell, it is just not there. So like, you know, the Coupe Forza edition is there. I'm pretty sure you can buy it even if you don't own the DLC for it. I don't know if you can... Actually, I think you can drive it. Uh, but yeah, for GT 17 and then goes to GT 40 64. So I don't think you can buy this car on the auction house. You have to buy it in real life. Anyways, let's get out of the auction house and show what makes the OPI edition so uh, interesting. If we take a look at the regular for GT and go to the engine swaps, there are no engine swaps. This is not the case on the OPI edition, and this is the biggest difference uh, between those versions. So hopping in this, uh, I have tested this engine, the stock engine can get to the same 911 horsepower as the stock 4GT, and the aerodynamics are a little bit better on the OPI, OPI edition, but, you know, they're not game-breaking. For the engine swaps, though, here we have the Racing V6 Twin Turbo. I have no idea what <laughs> engine this car is from. Could be a Racing Le Mans 4 GT. Could be GTR, for all I know. I really don't know. Special thing with this engine, it gets over 1,400 horsepower with the Twin Turbo upgrades here. 1,460. Combine this with the aerodynamics. Some slick tires. And some weight reduction. We can get it into X-Class. And right there is at the top of S2 very nicely. With max power. And that gets us into X-Class right there. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, you may have noticed we cannot upgrade the tire widths. The front tires are 265s up front wide. That's the same as the max width of the stock 4GT, but the rears, they are 325s. The rears of the regular 4GT are 345s, max upgraded. So, I think it's better than the stock stock, but not better than the regular 4GT's max upgraded. But, uh, you should be able to see soon enough that that is ultimately, uh, it doesn't matter. We're in X-Class, and we have a ridiculous car now. Now, is it ridiculous in the sense of it'll be game-breaking, like the Mosler was when it first came out in Horizon 4? No. Will it be uh, better than a stock car like an old pre-order car used to be? Yeah. I say it's about that same level. It's not going to be the insane levels as the 911 GT3 RS or the 720S uh, McLaren. But it'll be more in line with... Uh, the Aston Martin pre-order car from Horizon 4, where it was better in every way, but only just. So this car is an X-Class, this is true, but also, 
it's not going to be uh, stupidly fast. It's Car Mastery Tree here. I'm not sure if it's the same as a regular Ford GT. I can uh, look real quick just to see what the regular Ford GT has. You would want it to be different, but it wouldn't surprise me if it isn't. Uh, yeah, it is different. Regular one has uh, big boy XP bonus up there. So that's odd. Oh well. I'll give this OPI edition a blanket tune to see how fast it can go in the straight line. Uh, I'll max the tire pressure. And then minimize the aerodynamics here. And that should all be good enough there. I normally like to flatten out the camber a bit since we're not racing on a curved surface or banked corners I should say. And now we go to the highway to the highway. Uh, what is the fastest way? I'm going to start from up here. I, in early testing I tried from the other direction and I didn't go massively fast, but let's try from this direction. You can tell that the grip is not going to be game-breaking. I'm going the wrong way. I'm not even on the highway to the highway. Where am I going? I'm dumb. Yeah, the grip's not going to be out of this world. It's not uh, F1 levels of grip like the Shesto Elemento FE or the Neo EP9. But I think it's a little bit better than the stock for a GT. I'm doing it again! Wait, am I? No, I'm not. I promise I'm good at the game. So, the question here is, uh, is this car worth it? No. This is not worth it. Do not waste your real-world money on getting this silly in-game car. I did not tune my gears. And one other thing of note is that uh, with uh, this OPI Xbox uh, deal thing, uh, it's limited in North America, but if you are in another part of the world, you can still buy uh, OPI products on Amazon, but you will get something different, and it'll be for Halo. And maybe other games in the future, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's the deal with all that. Top speed of 282, maybe 283 if I didn't lift off to hang up my phone. But yeah. Fast car, not the fastest, not the slowest. Not the grippiest. It is just a better version of the 4 GT. Will it be better enough to be competitive in S2? Or S1? Or anything? I don't know. It's just a cool car for collectors. I do believe that covers everything. If you guys enjoyed, you can leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks. And we out. I'll see you all in the future.
Goodbye, everybody.